Matthew Lofton has a really interesting question about maintaining a priority queue inside Zoho CRM. I thought this was quite a fun challenge because it involves some coding and it could actually be a good exercise when I'm hiring candidates to see whether they can solve this one. I'll show you what my solution looks like. I've put it in the tasks module, I've got priority number and I also keep track of the previous priority number. If I change, for example, this one from priority number three to priority number two, then we would need to see that this one, which used to be number two, will need to become priority number three. Let's double check that's working correctly. So change this one to number two, and let's just keep an eye on this one here. Change that to two. If we refresh, then we should see AA12. That has changed to three, as expected. Now let's change it the other way around. If I make this one from three to four, then we will need to see the task that was previously number four that would need to change to number three. So that one here for test 49 testing. That's working correctly. Now let's try if we go from say two to five, we'll make sure that all reshuffles correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. All good. So I'll show you what the code looks like. I'm I'm not gonna share the full code because I I don't want when I do future hiring, I don't want people to steal the solution. But I'll give you a, a glimpse of what the delete script looks like. The first thing we do is we're figuring out what direction we need to change it, whether the task has been changed from a higher priority to a lower priority or vice versa. Then we find all the tasks that are open because we're only going to be reprioritizing tasks that are in the open queue. And then we go through and we check, do we actually need to change anything? Checking whether all the tasks, are, the priorities are already consecutive. If they're already in the right order, then we don't need to do anything. If they're not in the right order, then we go through each task that has a priority number. We figure out if we should change it. And if we do, then we either make the priority increase by one or decrease it by one. We also make sure that previous priority number is updated. So it takes a little bit of work to get the hang of that one. It took me probably about an hour. So I'm going to look forward to using that to assess candidates in the future. And Matthew, if you want to grab the code off me, happy to work something out.